Here is a quick poetry lesson on enjambment. La da 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 a stepping across. Now, uh, in poetry, what it means is um, an idea or a thought that begins on one line, and then the poet decides to cut off that line, and then the idea or thought or sentence continues on the next line. Enjambment is one of the most overused techniques in modern poetry. Um, to me, it seems like a lot of modern poets write two or three sentences uh, with a clever observation, and there's nothing especially poetic about these sentences. So what they do is they break it up, and they enjam it all, and now, aha, look, it's poetry, look at all the enjambment. However, when enjambment is used well, it can have a lot of very interesting effects. Uh, sometimes enjambment is really effective for creating interesting rhymes. Uh, it can be also used to create rhythm. And it can also be used in a lot of creative ways uh, to create double meanings. Here's an example of what I think is a very effective use of enjambment from the band Vampire Weekend. The song is called Campus. And here's the dramatic situation. The speaker of the song, uh, a young man, wakes up in his dorm room, he gets dressed, and he goes outside, and he sees his ex-girlfriend. That brings us to the chorus. Then I see you walk across the campus, green professor studying romances, how am I supposed to pretend? I never want to see you again. Here's why I think that's a good example of enjambment. We hear the first part of the line, the first part of the chorus. How am I supposed to pretend? And what we understand from that line is uh, this guy feels very awkward seeing his ex-girlfriend. It's a painful situation for him. And he doesn't know how he's going to pretend that he's fine and the situation is normal and it's not awkward. Uh, how is he going to pretend that he's over this relationship? Uh, and then the line continues. How am I supposed to pretend I never want to see you again? Okay, the question then becomes, where do you put the question mark? Is it one sentence or is it two sentences? How am I supposed to pretend? Question mark. Okay, well, how am I supposed to pretend that I'm over you, that this isn't painful and awkward for me? I never want to see you again. I'm so done with you. I'm angry about the end of our relationship. I don't ever want to see you again ever in my entire life. Okay, uh, but maybe an alternate reading would be, how am I supposed to pretend I never want to see you again, question mark. In other words, um, hey, I, I know that I'm supposed to pretend that I don't want to see you anymore, but I'm not over you. I do want to see you again. I wish we could get back together. It actually has the opposite meaning. Uh, this person actually wants to see uh, the ex very badly, which reading is the correct reading? Uh, well, uh, I think the answer is they both are. And I think what uh, the lyricist, um, I think his name is Ezra Pound? No, 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 that's some other guy. Um, I think what the lyricist is trying to capture there is the confusion 
uh, and the conflicting emotions that you feel after a breakup. In one moment, you're angry. I never want to see you again. And in the next breath, you're thinking, oh, come on, let's give it another try. Maybe we were meant to be together. You're wondering whether or not you should get back together. You don't really want me to tell you my honest opinion, do you? So there you have it. Enjambment. It's a stepping across. It's where the idea or sentence continues on to the next line. And if it's used effectively, it can create lots of interesting double meanings within a text. Thank <laughs> you.